Hi, my name's Ben Sowery and I'm a field officer for Otago Fish and Game. I'm going to share with you a few tips on setting decoys which will hopefully help you to harvest a few more delicious birds for the table. Only set waterfowl species that are present in your area. Waterfowl are naturally wary of anything that's unusual in their area. For example, if you don't have black swans using your hunting area, don't set black swan decoys. Same as for numbers of decoys. For example, if your area only has around two dozen mallards naturally using it, setting a hundred decoys in your pond will most likely put the birds off. It's better to have slightly less decoys, or a same number, than too many decoys in an area. Another important part of decoy setting is species segregation. Although waterfowl species will intermingle with each other, as a general rule, it's best to separate out different species from each other. Another thing to remember when setting different species of waterfowl decoys is to have the larger species furthest upwind. So generally you'll put the swans furthest upwind, then Canada geese, paradise shell duck, mallards and shoveler the furthest downwind. Although they are pretty, shoveler decoys are largely unnecessary. Shoveler will land with mallard decoys. That said, having a couple of shoveler decoys in your spread will help predict where the, those shoveler are going to land because the shoveler will land with other shoveler duck decoys. We all know as game bird hunters that shoveler come in hot, so having an idea of their trajectory can sometimes help with those difficult shots. When setting paradise shell duck decoys with other decoy species, Make sure that you've always got a bit of space between them and the other types of birds. Parries are naturally aggressive and they'll chase other birds away. Another important thing to note about Paradise Shell Duck is you don't need lots of decoys. Coupled with the parry call, a pair of Shell Duck decoys is enough to bring in most of your birds. A lot of hunters struggle to know what the maximum range is for their, the choke and ammunition combination that they're using. The best way to know what the maximum range is, is by patterning your shotgun. The maximum effective range of your shotgun will have roughly 90 to 95 pallets hitting within a 30 inch circle. Once this is known, you can set what are called rangefinder decoys. Black swan decoys are effective for this. By setting these decoys at the maximum effective shotgun range, you know that anything that's between you and those rangefinder decoys is within range. To work out this maximum distance, I often use a rangefinder. However, you can just simply pace the distance out. Wind direction is the key to setting an effective decoy spread. Ducks will always land into the wind. So, by setting our decoys correctly, we'll be able to work those birds into an effective shotgun range. The most popular shape for setting decoys is the U or the J shape, with a long arm reaching downwind. Birds will be approaching from downwind and will use that arm of the decoy spread essentially as a runway guiding them into the landing area. The landing area is a zone clear of decoys within your decoy spread. This is normally in the apex of that U or J shape. This clear area allows birds to come and land without the risk of crashing into other birds. When setting your decoys, make sure that none of the decoys are touching each other. Ducks aren't cuddly creatures. Avoid having frost or dew on your decoys. This often happens by setting the decoys out the night before and clear calm conditions throughout the night will allow frost and dew to collect on the decoys. If you know it's going to be conditions which are conducive to making frost or dew, just get up earlier in the morning and set your decoys on the day. Another way that decoys can ice up is by throwing them on cold mornings. As they're tossed into the water, the wet surface can ice up quite quickly. The way to eliminate this is by placing your decoys properly. When hunting an area where there's a lake shore or a riverbed, birds will often use that shoreline as an area to rest. Using full body decoys will help replicate this. However, if you don't have full body decoys, using your normal floating decoys can work. Just make sure that you bury the keel into the sand or mud. Applying these tips should help get those birds into range and finishing nicely. Hot barrels and safe shooting.